Hello friends, welcome to Prep Harmony, where we believe education should be our fundamental right and knowledge should be free for all. I am Kritika, your mentor who will be bringing to you a lot of videos for all competitive exams. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can get the videos. And also press the bell icon so that you get video notifications. Please share with your friends so that we get motivated to bring you more knowledge. Let's grow together and prepare in harmony. Welcome again. Introduction Jainism, one of the oldest religions in the world, has a rich and profound history that dates back to the prehistoric period in India. The roots of Jainism can be traced to the ancient Indus Valley civilization, where archaeological evidence suggests the presence of a sophisticated and organized society that might have laid the groundwork for the philosophical and ethical principles that later became integral to Jainism. Foundations in the Indus Valley Civilization The Indus Valley, often considered the cradle of ancient Indian civilization, witnessed the emergence of early Jain principles. While the archaeological record doesn't explicitly mention Jainism, the peaceful coexistence of diverse cultures and the focus on non-violence in the region might have sown seeds of Jain philosophy. The seals discovered in the Indus Valley bear symbols reminiscent of Jain cosmology, suggesting a connection between the two. Proto-Jainism and the Upanishads As India transitioned from the Vedic period to the Upanishadic era, philosophical and spiritual ideas evolved. Proto-Jain concepts can be discerned in the Upanishads, where the notion of ascetic practices. Renunciation of worldly attachments, and the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment resonate with later Jain teachings. It was during this period that the foundational principles of Jainism, including the concept of ahimsa, nonviolence, gained prominence. Parshvanatha and the early Tirthankaras Jain tradition recognizes 24 Tirthankaras or spiritual teachers who played a crucial role in shaping the faith. Parshvanatha, the 23rd Tirthankara, is believed to have lived during the 9th century BCE. His teachings emphasized nonviolence, truth, and ascetic practices, laying the groundwork for Mahavira, the 24th Tirthankara and the central figure in Jainism. Mahavira and the Consolidation of Jainism Mahavira, born in the 6th century BCE, is regarded as the founder of Jainism in its organized form. Born into a royal family, Mahavira renounced his worldly life at the age of 30 and embarked on a spiritual quest for enlightenment. His teachings, encapsulated in the Agamas, emphasize the concept of Jina, one who conquers inner passions, and Jain, the follower of the path to liberation. Ahimsa and Jain Ethics Central to Jain philosophy is the principle of ahimsa, or nonviolence. Mahavira preached a radical commitment to avoiding harm to all living beings, laying the groundwork for a lifestyle that minimizes the impact on the environment and promotes compassion. Jain ethics extend beyond physical harm, encompassing thoughts and speech, making it one of the most comprehensive ethical systems in the ancient world. Ascetic Practices and Anakantavada Jain ascetics, known as monks and nuns, follow rigorous practices aimed at purifying the soul and achieving spiritual liberation. Renunciation of worldly attachments, fasting, and meditation are integral to the Jain ascetic lifestyle. Anakantavada, another key principle, emphasizes the multifaceted nature of reality, promoting a tolerant and inclusive worldview that acknowledges the validity of diverse perspectives. Spread of Jainism and Royal Patronage Jainism gained prominence in ancient India through the patronage of various rulers. Kings like Chandragupta Maurya and Karavela were followers of Jainism, contributing to the spread of the faith across different regions. 
The construction of Jain temples and the establishment of Jain communities in various parts of India attest to the thriving nature of Jainism during this period. Jainism and Buddhism During the 6th century BCE, India witnessed the simultaneous emergence of Jainism and Buddhism as distinct religious traditions challenging the Brahmanical orthodoxy. While Jainism and Buddhism share some common principles, such as the rejection of Vedic rituals and the emphasis on ethical conduct, they diverged in certain doctrinal aspects. Despite differences, both religions coexisted peacefully, contributing to the rich tapestry of ancient Indian thought. Jain Literature and Manuscript Tradition Jainism boasts an extensive literary tradition, with its sacred texts known as Agamas. These texts, written in Art Hamagadi Prakrit, detail the life and teachings of Mahavira, the ethical principles of Jainism, and the rules for the conduct of monks and nuns. The elaborate manuscript tradition preserved these texts, ensuring their continuity and dissemination over centuries. Decline and Revival Despite its flourishing during ancient times, Jainism faced periods of decline, particularly during foreign invasions and the spread of other religions. However, the faith experienced a revival during the medieval period, with the construction of magnificent Jain temples and the patronage of rulers like the Shalukyas and the Solankis. Jainism continued to thrive in regions like Gujarat and Rajasthan, where elaborate temples and vibrant communities still exist today. Conclusion Jainism's journey during Indian prehistory encapsulates the evolution of profound philosophical ideas, ethical principles, and spiritual practices that continue to influence millions of followers today. From its possible roots in the Indus Valley civilization to the teachings of Mahavira and the subsequent spread and consolidation of the faith. Jainism stands as a testament to the enduring quest for truth, nonviolence, and spiritual liberation in ancient India. Some interesting facts 1. Indus Valley Connection Archaeological evidence suggests a potential connection between the Indus Valley civilization and the early principles of Jainism with seals bearing symbols reminiscent of Jain cosmology found in the ancient ruins. 2. Upanishadic influence, proto-Jain concepts, including ascetic practices and renunciation, can be traced back to the Upanishads, highlighting the interplay of diverse philosophical ideas in ancient India. 3. Parshvanathas precedence, the 23rd Tirthankara, Parshvanatha, laid the groundwork for Jainism with his emphasis on nonviolence and asceticism. Contributing to the philosophical foundation of the faith. 4. Mahavira's role, Mahavira, the 24th Tirthankara, played a pivotal role in organizing Jainism into a coherent religious tradition. Providing a comprehensive ethical framework that centered around the principle of Ahimsa. 5. Ahimsa is a core principle, the concept of Ahimsa in Jainism extends beyond physical harm. Encompassing thoughts and speech, making it one of the most comprehensive ethical systems in the ancient world. 6. Anakantavada philosophy, Jainism's Anakantavada philosophy, emphasizing the multifaceted nature of reality promotes a tolerant and inclusive worldview that acknowledges diverse perspectives, contributing to the richness of Jain thought. 7. Royal patronage and spread, Jainism gained prominence through the support of rulers like Chandragupta Maurya, contributing to the spread of the faith across different regions of ancient India. 8. Parallel emergence with Buddhism, Jainism and Buddhism, both challenging Vedic rituals and orthodoxy. 
emerged simultaneously in the 6th century BCE, contributing to the diversity of religious thought in ancient India. 9. Extensive manuscript tradition, Jainism boasts an extensive literary tradition with its sacred texts, the Agamas, written in Ardhamagadi Prakrit. The meticulous manuscript tradition has preserved these texts over centuries. 10. Medieval decline and revival, despite facing periods of decline, Jainism experienced a revival during the medieval period. Marked by the construction of magnificent temples and the patronage of rulers like the Shalukyas and the Solankis, ensuring its continuity and vibrancy in regions like Gujarat and Rajasthan. Crafting quality educational content is a substantial investment in both time and resources. Your support, no matter how modest, can be a powerful catalyst in accelerating our content creation process. You can donate us by scanning the code below and help us as little as you can. Thanks in advance. Dosto, hum log shiksha ko desh ke kone kone tak muft pahunchana chahte hain. अगर आपको हमारे वीडियो से कुछ भी सीखने को मिला हो और आप अगर हमारे शिक्षा मिशन में सहयोग करना चाहते हो तो नीचे दिए कोड पे स्कैन करके हमारी मदद कर सकते हैं इसके लिए हम हमेशा आभारी रहेंगे